share a bit on my story, tools and tips and lessons I've learned through my career in terms of um, businesses, starting small businesses, property investments, etc. And um, I wrote the book, How to Become a Millionaire 22. I'm going to go through that a bit today and share a bit of tools and tips um, on that. Are you guys excited about that? Yes. Does that sound good? Yes. Everybody happy? Okay. If you want to become a millionaire, you need to learn from a millionaire. And that's the first lesson I learned in my journey. That if you want to become a millionaire, you need to learn from a millionaire. And my dad gave me my first book. It was a John C. Maxwell book. The best real estate agent in the world thinks differently than what you do. The biggest billionaire in the world think differently than what you do. That's the biggest secret. We don't all think the same. And as you start reading these books, you start to think differently. Financial education is important. It is almost the most important step of the journey, financial education. We need to up our financial education. We need to up our selling education. We need to learn how to sell better. We need to learn how to connect quicker with the client. We need to learn how to take a good photo of a house. Right? We need to learn these things. How to engage, how to market yourself. All of those things you need to learn from the best people in that industry. And then the second lesson I've learned is you need to manage the type of content that you take in. Because every iteration gives you a better idea of how to change the recipe. You need to start as soon as possible getting that recipe right, figuring it out. And that brings me to the, to the next lesson. Just do it. Just do it. Too many people ask me, Albert, I have this business idea. I have this new market that I want to tackle. But I'm too afraid. What happens if I fail? Right? And they ask me this question, Albert, aren't you scared to you know, start a new business or invest in this property in, in this economy? Or you know, aren't you scared to do these things? What if you fail? And my answer to that is, I'm more afraid for the fear of regret than the fear of failure. That idea that you have to take the market at a different way, or that new area that you want to get into, that new product range or strategy that you want to launch, do it now. Just do it. And as you go along, you'll learn the lessons, and you'll improve your recipe. But if you start now, you'll get to that perfect recipe. When I got my first property, I got income. Hey, I was studying and I had a property that was paying me rental income. But I was investing all of that money back into the property. Living very lean. When you start making money, right? When you sold that house that you've been working on for a few months, don't spend it all. You need to set goals that keep you accountable. If you have the number, it keeps you accountable for what you're doing with your money every day. And before you know it, you're going to be more successful on a monthly basis, on a yearly basis. They always say, aim for the stars and at least you'll land on the moon, right? But if you haven't aimed at all, you'll still be on planet Earth. So by having that big goal, by having that massive goal, aim high and that changes your daily actions things you do on a daily basis and you will get you out of bed. Does, that, does this make sense, guys? Keep your rabbits in the pen. Have goals that keeps you accountable. Are you enjoying this? Yes. Is this valuable information? Can I see some hands? Are you guys with me? Awesome, awesome, awesome.